Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 13th through the 19th of March, 2022. I do hope you guys had a good week. Um, I want to take a quick second just to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If you find that that is your story, um, go ahead and check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate better. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. Really not at all unusual. And also, if you would like a personal reading, the information is in that little box beneath the video. So let's get started, Cancer. Spirit, can I have the energy of Cancer? Energy of Cancer. Energy of Cancer, please. Okay, Cancer, you are starting out with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Six of Wands in the reverse. And coming out together, we have the Knight of Cups reverse along with the Six of Swords reversed. All right, so it looks like we do have some, some kind of a karmic cycle here um, that you've probably been dealing with for a while. It does look familiar. Um, so I do see that you are looking at something that at one time you very patiently were and lovingly were um, kind of giving your attention to. And it turned out to be a bad investment in your, in your opinion, in your view, because it wasn't successful. It didn't yield what you had hoped. And there is a sense here of some disloyalty associated with that. Um, for some of you, there is a sense of not being um, elevated to the title um, that you had aspired to or hoped for um, and I do feel like you were hoping for a love offer or you wanted to give a love offer and it just never came through it just never materialized so you know this was something that you just you put a lot of yourself into you nurtured it and it just didn't yield what you had hoped but you just couldn't seem to quite move away from it there's a sense of kind of wanting to move away from it because it's chaotic it's um <laughs> i heard it sucks i don't know which one of you said that but <laughs> somebody said it sucks um probably more than one of you um so it's just the way you said it it sucks um anyway um, there was a sense of wanting to move away from it, but at the same time, just feeling kind of stuck, kind of stuck, hoping for it, wanting it, and it not materializing. Um, there is a karmic lesson of some sort or cycle in that, though. Let's see who you are connecting with. Spirit, show me who Cancer is connecting with. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. We have the Emperor. Sign of Aries. We have Justice. Sign of Libra. And coming out together, we have the Empress. Um, that would be Libra or Taurus. So Libra is very strong here. And the Eight of Cups. Wow. So for some of you, this is definitely twin flame energy because we have the emperor and the empress out. Um, so let's just address that first. Um, in, if this is a twin flame situation, you, you are likely to know that. Um, the situation that I'm seeing is that the divine masculine um, would likely be the person you're connected with, um, but if not, if it's a divine feminine, um, this is what I'm saying. 
The Divine Masculine is quite aware of the Divine Feminine, and the Divine Feminine has walked away from this connection. And it is because this connection is not fulfilling the Divine Feminine. And that, that pretty much is you, Cancer. So, and it's justice. Um, it, it is just and it is right that the Divine um, Feminine walked away. And the Divine Masculine is quite aware that justice has been served here. Usually justice is blind, but in this particular deck, the, the eyes are wide open. And so, you know, the Divine Masculine is quite aware that they had this coming. This, that justice has been served. Wow. That's powerful. So, I will say that the person you're dealing with, Cancer, um, they, are, they are enlightened to the situation. If you are in a... Um, if you are in a twin flame connection. Now let's say you're not in a twin flame connection. I'm still seeing a very strong um, individual here. A lot of masculine energy and um, now that doesn't mean this is a male. It could be but it doesn't mean it is. But I am seeing somebody that is definitely taking charge of their life. This is somebody that um, you know they are they are finally taking charge of their life and it's because in the past there has just been like destruction. There's been destruction in their life and I do think that they are now, you know, taking the bull by the horns. They are, they are deciding that they are going to be in charge of their own life. So it's a, it's a good thing. It's a good card in the upright. Um, There is justice, there is karmic justice that is taking place in their life. There is balance that is coming into their life as well. And I do see that, um, I do see that uh, they are in full knowledge of this. So things are balancing out in their life. Justice um, for things that they have done or when they have been wronged and karma um, is also enacted. Um, they are seeking their divine partner. They are seeking their equal mate. And I do feel that they know that they have found that person, that important person in their life, and that person did walk away. And that that was something that... Um, it was it was karmically induced so their perfect person did walk away wow that's it's it's very heavy let's see the energy of the connection a decision two of swords I'm trying to think somebody else had this too um it was another water sign um might have been scorpio um, but yeah, a decision has been made between the two of you. Now, this decision has been made with full knowledge, and um, I don't think the decision has completely been made yet, um, but it's on the verge. And I don't think that, um, I don't think this decision is being made blindly. It's, it's being made with full knowledge. Let's see what is directly affecting this decision. High Priestess. Intuition. Um, for some of you, there's a child involved. So some of you guys might be involved with a Scorpio. Um, if you did, if you are, you need to go and, and look at the Scorpio reading. Um, but yeah, so for some of you, there is, um, what's affecting this connection is there's a child that's involved here. Um, for others, there's secrets that are involved that's affecting the connection. And um, for 
especially if this is a twin flame connection, um, the divine is involved. Um, there is most certainly in all scenarios, intuition is being used. Let's see the outcome at the end of the week. Mm. Right, we have the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So again, air sign energy. Um, we have uh, the, the Scorpio energies here. We have air sign energy, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but I do see the outcome being... Uh, that there is going to be some communication here at the end of the week. Somebody's going to come forward speaking truth. Cancer, I believe that's you. Be careful because sometimes um, the Knight of Swords can be kind of argumentative, sharp words. Um, could be an argument. The person you're connected with, I do feel like they are going to listen to what you have to say. Um, however... Uh, they they may turn their back and they may um, contemplate kind of kind of cutting you out. So be very careful how you approach them. Um, I would just be careful in in my approach. But I do see some truth being spoken, and I do feel like it's going to be Cancer who is doing the truth speaking here. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords. Oh my. Now that's underlying energy. So there's some kind of deception that is taking place here or suspicion of deception. Um, that's interesting. Didn't see that coming. That might be why you're going to be speaking some truth. But it's underlying this reading. So something deceptive. Some lying, cheating, stealing of some sort. Hmm. All right. And that be what these secrets are about. So let's, uh, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer? All right, we have the Seven of Wands and we have Judgment. <laughs> yeah, so even though you are viewing this connection as a bad investment, you still want to overcome the problems. You still would like to optimally come together with this person. And I know a lot of you are going to say, no, not me. Well, then it's not your reading. So, um, But the, for those of you that, that it is your reading, this is resonating, there is a part of you that does. Now, again, I'm going to tell you, a part of you does want to move away from this person as well. You're of a split mind with this, and I can understand why. But if you could have everything the way you wanted it to be, you would bring this together and overcome this, these problems. Ooh, and I just heard scorched earth. My gosh. So, um, it came from this side. So, um, this person in the past, their things have, have gone down in such a way that it's been scorched earth. And I, if I remember correctly, that, that means that there was just like, take no prisoners, just like burn everything kind of thing. So be careful how you approach this person. All right. So let's, um, let's see. Why is the six of wands in reverse? All right, we have the star in reverse, the three of cups, and the nine of coins in reverse. Yeah. So you've tried to reconcile with this person in the past, and it it does it it hasn't been successful. I do feel like um, you've kind of given up hope on on this reconciliation on being bringing this together and you do want to be in a relationship you do want to be in a connection I do see you kind of giving up hope on that as well there's this feeling of of you know I'm going to be single forever kind of deal um, but you're not you're not um, let's look at the bottom energy Okay, 
we have the sun in reverse, two of swords, now that's in the connection, and we have the strength card. Okay, so yeah, you're going to have to really dig down deep in order to have the strength and courage to make a decision. Um, I can see that. And this decision for you is about something that is unknown, something that is hidden. So for some of you, you might be pregnant. Um, and that's why you feel like you can't move away from this connection. Um, you'll know if that's you. I mean, but there's something, even if it's not that, there's something here that is hidden or something that is unknown. And, or maybe you feel like you are in the dark. Like there's something that you're being kept in the dark about. But I do see you trying to find the strength within you to make a decision. And that decision has to do with the, um, with feeling like you can't move away from this person. You can't, even though part of you wants to. And this lack of a valid offer of love. It's been hard for you to deal with that. Like, you're not receiving a the, the love offer that you are wanting. And there's a sense of depression about that sometimes. You're, you're sad about it. It makes you unhappy. It, you're really having to really dig down deep in order to deal with that. Because I think you put a smile on your face and you keep moving. But the truth of it is, is it makes you very unhappy. And I think you're, it takes a lot for you to deal with it. You know, it's not an easy thing. So I can see the, the split in you, you know, wanting to come back together with this person and overcome these problems. And on the other hand, part of you wanting to give up on it, um, feeling hopeless about it. And in, at other times, just wanting to move forward and away from this person entirely not wanting any secrets, not wanting any, the sadness that goes with this. So, you know, I think it just depends on the time of the day and which day it is. Because you're kind of all over the place with this person. All right, let's look at their energy. Why is the emperor here? Okay, we have the... Ten of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. See, they're feeling stuck too. It's that same mirroring, um, mirroring that goes on between the two of you. I've seen it in the past as well. Um, I do think they're taking charge of their life. They do want some stability in their life, but um, they're really unhappy. They're unhappy because um, they're also feeling stuck, and... I do think that they're unhappy without you. Let's see why justice is here. Four of Wands reversed. The Empress in reverse. They know that it's justice that they, they're they not with you, that you walked away. It's exactly what I said in the beginning. This connection ended and it's their karma. It did not grow this did not grow because they because they they were not investing they were not investing in this so they realized that you walking away from this was it it was justice it was a balancing of the scales you withdrawing your attention balanced out from from all the times that they did not give you their attention. Um, let's look at the bottom. Ace of Wands. Seven of Cups reversed. Four of Coins. Okay, so 
you may have walked away, but at the same time, there is a undeniable sexual attraction between the two of you, um, and they're aware of it, and they know that you desire them. They know that you want a new beginning with them. Um, so I'm going to tell you, even though you've walked away, this person is holding on to you. Um, and they are, I will also tell you, especially if you are in a twin flame connection, they may have been confused in the past. They absolutely are not confused now. They know exactly who you are to them. And even if you're not in a twin flame connection, this is a powerful, powerful connection. And I'm going to tell you, this person knows exactly who you are to them. They know that you are their ideal counterpart. And they know that you walking away from them was their own fault. They're holding on to you. They want a new start with you. And they, they miss the physical closeness. They definitely desire you. Let's see why is the Two of Swords here. Two of Wands, and the Emperor in Reverse. Okay, so the current situation between the two of you is that, <laughs> this is crazy, you chose to go in a, a different direction. You chose yourself. You chose your own happiness. You were at a crossroads, Cancer, and you chose your own happiness. You turned your back on the emperor. You turned your back on this person, um, which I can tell you it put them in a foul mood. <laughs> so that being the case, they, they also, because they felt that you were choosing a different direction, they then um, chose to also move in a different direction. Um, but it... See, you, here's the difference. Your choice was for you. You chose self-love. They chose out of pettiness. And they chose because they felt denied. So they chose out of a low vibration. You chose out of a high vibration. Which is why they're reaping karma. And they're aware of this. That's why they're unhappy. That's why they're unhappy. All right, why is the high priestess here? They feel out of control. When you chose to go in another direction, it made them feel like they had lost control of the situation. All right, we have the eight of wands reversed. And we have the page of cups. Okay, so what is directly affecting this connection? You may have them blocked. Um, some of you cancers have blocked this person. They are going to be offering possibly an apology. It could be um, they're going to offer a small token of love. They might just be reaching out to you in some form, but you may have them blocked. I don't see you being receptive, cancer. Even though you want this, I don't see you being receptive. Um, for some of you, you have blocked them and they may they may be asking you if there's a child, if there is a baby, if if that's you know the your scenario. That could be for just one person, but page of cups can sometimes be a, a, a baby, a love child. Um and if that's the case, Cancer, you block them. You, you're not discussing this with them. Um, and you would have kept this a secret. You're or keeping this a secret. Now, for everybody else, I do think that um, this person might reach out to you and you might not be receptive. Your intuition might be telling you no. Let's look at the... Um, Let's look at the outcome. Oh, 
Oh, there's that high priestess again. My goodness. All right, Eight of Swords. And the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. You're both trapped in this cycle. You're both up in your heads. You're both trapped in this cycle. Um, if there is a secret that you are keeping, Cancer, you are going to come forward. You're going to tell them the truth. It's going to really mess with their head. Um, and I do see them kind of going into this period where they don't talk with you about this. They, they shut down. I do see them kind of turning their back, shutting down for a period. Now, this is a weekly read. So, they will have approached you. You will have blocked them. And then you're going to turn right back around. And you're going to tell them the way it is. If you're, especially if you're keeping a secret. You're going to tell them the truth. And it, the both of you are going to be just locked up in your, your own heads about all of this. Um, but their reaction to you speaking truth is they're gonna they're gonna kind of be defensive they're gonna turn their back um, and I do see them going into no communication now I don't know that that's gonna last because this person has been in your energy for quite some time um, but that's I do see a, a major issue happening here um, now of course not everybody's got a secret pregnancy so um, but I do see something here that you intuitively are going to tell them it could be just your intuition is telling you to tell them something and you're going to speak your truth I don't think you're going to be very nice about it so I, I really want to say cancer you know be cautious with your words okay um, look at what it is you want to accomplish and then ask yourself if your approach is going to accomplish what you what you're trying to accomplish bottom of the deck is the ten of coins that is long-term stability but you know it's coming in with the seven of swords so there's something deceptive about this. There's something that has to do with a long-term connection or long-term stability or possibly money um, that is deceptive. And that might be what you're, you're going after them about. I don't know. It's underlying all of it, though. All right. So I'm going to pull from the Guardian Angel Tarot and see if I can give you some advice here from Spirit. Spirit, we are pulling for Cancer. Cancer. Okay, let's see what we've got. Ten of Emotion says life is blessing you with wonder with a wonderful and loving family great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness and understanding and kindness to others you're rewarded with unconditional love hmm. so be careful how you approach this person because Spirit is guiding you here. It says, by offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you will be rewarded with unconditional love. So, you know, temper your approach. Um, oh, and look at that. Right underneath it's King of Pentacles. Interesting. All right. Um... I hope this has been helpful, Cancer. So um, if you would, like and share the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And as always, Cancer, if you would like to drop a comment, feel free to do that. I read all of them. 
Until I see you next week, namaste.